Welcome to Fashion Masters Q&A with DNQ, episode 17. How does block therapy benefit frozen shoulder? Hi there, my name is Deanna Hansen. I'm a certified athletic therapist and the founder of Fluid Isometrics and Block Therapy. And my name is Quinn Castellane. I'm the VP of Block Therapy and the lead block therapist. As a therapist, I've personally worked on many people with frozen shoulder. And one thing that I have learned over the years is that it's really not about the shoulder. And this is why people aren't getting the results that they're needing when they go to mm. seek help. So what we really need to understand is the shoulder joint as well as the head and the neck. Mm -hmm. The foundation of that is the rib cage. And over time from unconscious posture and breathing, we naturally fall into that core space, the rib cage collapses and we don't age in a linear forward direction. We fall either to the left or the right, largely based on what side we're dominant on. So for the average right-handed person, we tend to shift our center of gravity over to the left to keep that right side free for action. But unfortunately what this does is that collapse is causing the shoulder joint and the humerus bone to internally rotate and that affects the range of motion of that shoulder. Yes. So when we are addressing shoulder pain, it's absolutely crucial that we first look at the foundation and the rib cage is just one of the foundations. We also have to look at the body as a whole. The fascia yeah. connects us from head to toe. The way the fascia winds around the calves, how it affects the pelvis and all the way up the chain, everything is a factor in this. So with block therapy, we address the entire system so that we can make sure that we're getting to those cause sites. Mm -hmm. But Quinn, what specifically is happening to the shoulder joint itself? Right, so again, we're collapsing in, and then as Deanna mentioned, the shoulder joint gets pulled, the humerus bone gets pulled forward. So as you see, this is causing an internal rotation of the shoulder joint. So we, we know a shoulder joint, it's a, it's a ball and socket, so it should have space to move freely without pain. But when we internally rotate, it gets pushed towards the socket. And then if it's been there because there's this pull for a very long time, or even just any period of time, it's eventually going to create more rubbing against the cartilage, but it's also creating a larger gap in a different area of the joint where the tissue will get sucked into and compress, act very sim acting similar to scar tissue. So then that limits our, limits our range even more. So it's like the cause site caused this, but now this is also causing more pain and, and less mobility. So now when you think of it, now you're gonna be rubbing against the cartilage and that's gonna cause inflammation and that, that inflammation sends signals to pain. So then it's like this whole cycle. So what we need to do is address the causate, but then once we've done that initially, because there's no point in working in a shoulder without addressing the causate. Exactly. Like we, we know that, like of course it's gonna release temporary pain, but it's not going to solve your issue. So that's why we address the cause site first and then we work in the pain and in the shoulder joint. Also, when pain surfaces, we really want to address it immediately because what we unconsciously do is we adapt our movement around the pain. So if I'm a golfer, for example, and I'm out on the golf course and I have some shoulder pain, oh, you're laughing at me because you know I'm not a golfer. <laughs> you are, I can see that smirk. <laughs> Either way, if I were a golfer and I'm not, if I was going through a certain range of motion to create an action and I had pain, I would adapt my posture somehow in order to still be able to perform that function. Right. And the body is highly adaptable until it's not. Yeah. And then boom, now you can't move your shoulder. Yeah. You have frozen shoulder. So whether it's shoulder pain or frozen shoulder, it's all the same thing. And the sooner you get to that issue, the faster the healing happens. Yeah. If you've had that issue for a long time, again, we've got more adhesions, more dense tissue to melt through to create that full body release. And also, the longer we've adapted around something, the more involved your entire body becomes. Yeah. So then you have to truly look at the whole body as a whole, as we do anyway, but more specifically, to get rid of that specific issue and area. So if this is something that you have, totally. where can people find us? The best place to visit is again, unblockyourbody.com. So I'll put that link up here as well. Um, 
that's going to give you a free posture gift because we talk so much about posture and that's crucial to understand as we mentioned for proper shoulder head neck alignment as well so again visit unblockyourbody.com if you guys have questions that you want deanna and i to specifically answer for you uh, then please use the hashtag ask block therapy on any social media platform you can email us info at fluidisometrics.com or you can submit a question through our website, blocktherapy.com. So other than that, we'll see you guys next week. Breathe and believe.